Voting is a fundamental right of any citizen to choose their leaders. It also allows the general public to have a collective say in governance and decision-making process. The National Assembly and presidential elections are set of 27 November. Some of the eligible voters whom the NBC News team spoke to say they want to vote for change, particularly in the areas of service delivery, infrastructure development, social welfare, job creation and corruption. The change to provide us with more because we have nothing. We are old and therefore we need all sorts of assistance once they are in power. We want the rent on our houses to be reduced as pensioners. Those in the leadership should prioritize pensioners. There's uh, so much corruption here in Namibia. So we want new changes. And uh, it's, we are tired of empty promise. Every time they promise, but nothing is happening. I find ourselves in a very tough economic situation currently. And uh, the Swapo Party has been ruling since independence. I think uh, they, they deserve another chance for continuity's sake. And I think they know where they have went wrong and how they can fix things for us. But uh, the most important thing for me is a job, a job creation will be needed because a lot of the youth is on the streets, they don't have work. I want to vote for Nudo, but we also demand for service delivery and also improve the lives of our people in our area. As you can see, we also want paved roads. As you can see, we are selling meat and we need a lot of development. We need electricity and paved roads, access to portable water at a close distance, and everything else. If they start doing valuable things for us, we will be very appreciative. Our pension does not cover all our needs. For instance, those of us who have cars and have to travel to the farm and back find it unaffordable. I just want to say I have a child living with a disability in a wheelchair and he received a disability grant of $250. Hence, we are asking for an increase in his monthly disability grant or any other help to enable him to access health care, sanitary towels and food to eat. Chulana Fuka, NBC News, Bantuk.